Hey, it's Chaplin's Corner time once again. So, so grateful that you're here. Well, spring officially began last weekend, and many people take this season of rebirth and renewal to as, take as an opportunity to do a little spring cleaning. Now, I can't really relate, but some folks actually look forward to this annual activity. And whether you're the same way or not, chances are that the hall closet is not the only thing in your life that could use a little spring cleaning. So let's take the next few weeks to consider some suggestions from akindjourney.com and learn how to spring clean our lives. Here's the first, evaluate your relationships. Unfortunately, there may be some that are a little toxic and need to end. At the same time, there are probably others that have fallen by the wayside and need to be rekindled. Do both. This will help you prioritize your valuable time for the relationships that matter most to you. Second, iron out your finances. If you don't have a budget, how about working on that? I can help with it. Or if you have a budget that's more than a year or two old, it's probably in need of some updating. And with a little financial streamlining, you might be able to find yourself a raise. Third, declutter your mind. I mean, think about it. How many choices do you have to make every single day? Decision fatigue is real. So if you can simplify some of those options so that there's less that you have to decide each day, you're going to feel more energized and productive. And then fourth, rediscover your talents. We all have things that we enjoy doing and we're good at back in the day. So why not dust off those skills and put your gifts to good use? Well, I got more suggestions to come next week, but as always, until then, if you need help with anything, I hope you know that you can call me anytime. Be well. 